Hey everypony, New Leaf here, and today we're here to continue our journey in the MLP RPG. Last time we found a secret place known as the Castle of Harmony, and apparently in here is the final boss of this story. But before we do any fighting, I have to tell you that Amnesia Rebirth, this game, has come out today. So tomorrow we are definitely playing it. So if you wanna see some gameplay of that, stick around and um, you'll see it when it happens. And I upload the video for the, for Wednesday. Anyway, I'm in space? Alright, so what happens in space? Fluttershy, this is your final trial. You must face disharmony with the element you were destined to have. This is your calling. Face us. Huh? Fight us. Show what is dominate. Harmony versus disharmony. Alright, so we're basically challenged to a duel. Duel? So, is it a hundred th- oh, whatever this is. Let me guess it's a hundred thousand health. 50,000, 55,000 health. Oh, I am afraid as can be, but that ain't deterring me today. Um, what I'm gonna do, I, I know this is probably gonna take a couple of tries, but I'm just gonna experiment. I wanna see what moves he has. So let's go for back fist. Rarity goes for regular attack. Twilight goes for the Fire Raga, and Applejack just goes for the regular attack. We, we want him. We want to see what he does. Okay, that, that just easy. Oh, whatever that is, it missed. That's all right. That's all right. If he misses his attacks, that's good for us. It's good for us if he misses. Fluttershy, Kiraka, Rarity attacks. Twilight attacks. Applejack definitely attacks too. Here goes. Okay, Fluttershy goes first in these. Lesson learned. Oh no. Oh boy, he's just going ballistic now. That means he gotta go pyromaniac. So, that's about 10,000 health out of the way already. Um, do we have something to get rid of some status effects on him? Ah, oh, this is something for us. What if we could use something like that on him? Um... I mean, we can just go ahead and do this, right? Kira, Rarity, uses, um, Oatmeal, and Twily just goes for, you know, some more. Let's see if Banish Raw hurts him, because the previous guy, I think, I think there was one that had immunity to Banish Shara, so let's see if it's any better here. Applejack attack. Oh boy, here he goes. Big attack, big attack from him. But here comes the big heal, too. Oh, you thought I wasn't ready. You thought I was not ready. Okay, so he resists light attacks. Just like his friend. Good thing we have fire attacks. What the? He just... He just gotta go twice. Alright. We'll get through it eventually. Um... So what can we possibly do that would let us get out? Kiraza? Rarity, you're gonna make use of a hay on Fluttershy and every pony else. Yeah, our magic is down. Um, do we? Yes, we're gonna use faith on ourselves actually, and Applejack is just gonna go for. Does she have anything to. Oh, she doesn't really have anything. You know what? Here goes Crush B. Oh boy, this just got a little serious. Challenge accepted, big guy. You do a lot of damage each and every turn. Wait, his stats are back to normal. Faith. A rarity, give Fluttershy all of her mana, and um... Here goes! Yes! I can barely see his health bar because it's being overlapped by the bottom section, but it reads 40,000. I, I think that's about 20% of the way there. Fluttershy, Kira, Rarity, go for Arrow Flurry. Twilight uses... Fire Raka and Applejack goes for Crush B. Oh, he's doing it again. He, he's doing it again. Get all of her health up right now. That's it. If we have her health topped off, I think he's gonna have a hard time killing anybody. 
Uh oh, that missed. Very nice. Now we're, we're, we're approaching the halfway point with you already, huh? I like that. I like the sound of that. Um, give an oatmeal to Flutters. Um, she's Twilight's running low on mana, actually. Um, Farrakha and Applejack, you're gonna have to give Twilight some damage. If you don't have Twilight's damage, it's getting gloomy pretty quickly. Oh boy. Okay, that only hit a single pony. That's good. That's fine. That's alright. If he only hits... As long as no one dies and we can keep bringing ponies back at each and every turn, I have no problem with that. So, Twily? How much... How much... Okay. 32,000. 32,000. 32, what a tongue twister that is. Oatmeal flutters. Twily attacks. Applejack is definitely going to go for a little bit of attacking too. Okay, here goes. Mana leak. Ooh, that is serious. Putting that onto Fluttershy hurts me a lot. But, not as much as you may think. 30,000. Halfway point is coming up. Just keep doing this every turn. Nothing's going to stop us from going healy healy every time. And hit it. There we go, that is 2,500 every turn. Right, Rarity, get ready. We're about to take a lot of damage from this thing. So, this puts him below... Oh, yep, that is the halfway point passed. New Leaf, this is where we make a difference. Um, oatmeal flutters... Fl um... Twilight is firing. Yeah, this is... I think we got this in the bag. I, I shouldn't be saying that, but I think we got this. Unless there's some magic thing that happens at the end. Oh, boy. Painful. Just keep breaking out the uh, out the heels from Fluttershy, and that's the only way we're getting through this alive. Yes. Oh, he felt that one. And look at how many points um, Applejack got this turn. Applejack's powerful now. Um, Twilight uses this, and Applejack, Crush me! Let him have it! Uh-oh. Come on! Oh, he misses the Duponies where it matters! Perfect! There we go, oh yeah! Oh, all the other ponies are, are completely out. Um, Healing Herb Fluttershy. Fluttershy goes down, this becomes a little too serious for my taste. I can accept a downed rarity, but a downed Fluttershy is bad news for me. Oh, critical hit! Uh-oh, rarity. We need you to break out of that quickly. Fluttershy, um, use Kira. Twily, you're gonna make use of a hay onto Fluttershy. We need her mana dearly. Applejack attacks. No, I don't mind that. That's about the most important thing he could have done for us. In that case, all is good and glorious. Rarity! Okay, I think Rarity's confusion is down. And he's down to 13,000 health. The end is on the horizon. Um, Yes, we can get away with not using mana this turn because Fluttershy has so much mana. Instead, we're going to make use of a healing herb onto AJ and Twilight is going to go for... Raka and Applejack regular attacks go oh here we go again lucky or not lucky oh I'm incredibly unlucky incredibly unlucky okay Twily oh come on every pony is down to 10,000 We need some pony to break out of confusion like now. <laughs> oh no. We got lucky the first time around, I admit that much. Okay. No, seriously, is that gonna... Okay, that's alright. That's good. That's good that that ends. It's good that that ends. Oh, that just set us back a little too much. But we can, re we can recover. Remember, Fluttershy has all of her mana, and as long as that is the case, we got, we got decent business in beating this. Let's keep keep calm and bounce back from this. Twilight Faraka. 
Let him have it. That is 7,000. 7, oh, he's going for this again. Uh-oh. Wait. Applejack is back with 100 talent points. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. This is the last turn. Uh, Rarity, use this. Twilight uses sweep. Applejack, crush beat. Here it goes. Final turn. HG's down. Well, we can keep doing this, big guy. I can keep doing this. Arrow Flurry. 4,000. Okay, Fluttershy does not have the means to use the big heal, but she's gonna use the small heal. We're gonna play this so safe, because I know I'm never gonna get this lucky again in getting this far. Fluttershy uses Kiraza. Rarity uses Hay on this, and Twilight is gonna bring back Applejack. We need the Apple Horse to pull this out. Oh no. Damage is dealt. But every pony is still with it. All right, AG's up. AJ, it is all up to you to pull this off. He's got 4,000 health. Kira, Rarity, Arrow Flurry, Twilight Sparkle goes for this. And Applejack has resistances. She is definitely going to survive this turn. Um, do or die. Go for the Crush Beam. Oh, he's, he's boosting himself. That is the window that we needed. That is the window that we needed to get back into this. Whew. What an annoyance. But I think the previous guy was worse. Because the previous guy had this thing that could literally one-shot your team. This doesn't have that. Yeah! Convincing first try. Heck yeah! We took it out for dinner. And it ran away. Sad. Besides, I already have some pony. Was that even a pony? I don't think that was a pony. 180 gold. So what happens now? Is it gonna be a second one? You've proven yourself. Now what? Very impressive. Uh, this was nothing compared to the other guy. Come on. Uh, for, for reference, the other guy had literally had an attack that at, at any point he could be using this and just do insane amount of damage and you would never know this. But here, this guy could even boost himself and he could still not one-shot your team from, you know, full health. This, this, wasn't ta this wasn't that bad at all. The elements must come here. They will face the same trial if they complete the trial. They Then they will gather with you. The world depends on it. <laughs> of course. Instead of congratulations, it's just like... <laughs> Thanks, game. Feel very happy about that. Huh? To be continued? Okay. Now what? Oh, we now get to do one of the others. Oh, we now get to play as one of the others. So what is this hourglass? So, who do we pick next? We did Fluttershy, so we have Rainbow, Pinky, Rarity, Twilight, and AJ. I want to pick the pony that I think is the most uh, uh, magical. Twilight. I really, really, really like Twilight. Episode Twilight Sparkle, the great magic show. Help Twilight gather as much magic as possible and defeat her rival, Trixie. Haven't seen her in ages. Warning, if this isn't your first playthrough of this story, be aware this character stats will be reset. Uh-oh. Okay. So we're good. so Twilight starts back at level one. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I guess that's what we're trying to be, you know, hearing. Let's start. But I think if you beat like all six of these stories, I think you get something amazing to happen, right? Is that how that goes? Please wait. Preparing the story. Okay. Is this going to be more elevator music or um the the balloon thingy, the balloon ship? I usually just call that. Elevator music, because that's what that sounds like. Oh. 
Episode Twilight, the magic show. Yay! We finally got, got to second episode. The first one was a little bit of grinding because of the enemies, but ultimately, we took him out. The results of the magic tournament. We are in the finals with our two greatest students. Twilight Sparkle versus Trixie Lullamoon. Yay! Put your hopes together! Um, wait. Humans? I don't know what humans do for that. To win the finals, they must face each other in a magic duel. Now they must go separate ways and learn all the magic they can get. May we wish the best of luck for these two. May the finals begin! That sounds... Are we gonna magic duel? With Twilight? Yes, please! Oh... We did find Trixie in Fluttershy's story studying! That's what she was studying for! Makes sense now. Congratulations on making it to the finals! Thank you, Princess. It wasn't easy. Not easy. Ha! The great and powerful Trixie could have made it here with one hoof tied behind her back! I don't think you're using your host to cast magic, you know. Sheesh, I think Trixie doesn't know that much about spells. Trixie, watch what you say to the princess. It's fine, Twilight. It's great to know how much energy Trixie has. She seems determined on winning this. Now, okay, princess. How do you feel, Twilight? I could take on anything. I must win. Focus on the task at hoof. I want you two to travel around the quest here and learn all the magic you can. You must complete at least four magic types in order to qualify for the final battle. Understood, princess. You think you can learn magic more? Don't make Trixie laugh. Now, you must. You now must go. I, re I would recommend going to the City of Magic. They have some very powerful magic that you can learn. Okay. The City of Magic? Where are we even right now? That is the big question. Oh, wait. I, re I remember this place from traveling around with balloons for 10 years. Okay. Does any of this open? Nope. Or do I, I have a hunch of remembering this place, but Bales! Oh, we've been here before! Ah, oh, all my times of traveling around. Fluttershy? Are you gonna help me? Another adventure? Please, Fluttershy, you're awesome! Yay! So everyone's back at level one. Um... I think the way this works is like the level of Fluttershy in that final story is the one that we get to have at the very, very end. I hope that- I hope that's how that works. I may be very wrong on that. Twilight, let's go to the City of Friendship. But first we gotta go to Canterlot because balloons- oh, there we go. I was missing the balloon music or F elevator music. Yay! But that boss battle wasn't that on that bad, honestly. Or we're just getting strategical. We had to play it super safe, though, didn't we? Onwards to the City of Magic now. Of course, we have had two ponies that we didn't work with. And of course, I want to see what they do. The thing is, how am I going to get everyone to get their um, spells back? I think there's a quick way to do this, but we're, we're going to learn about that next time. To the City of Magic, please. Yes. To the City of Magic! Oh. More elevator. There we go. I swear, someone has to make, like, a little checklist. How many times was I in this cutscene? Probably enough to at least account for, like, ten minutes of solid episode. I don't know. Wait, this is the chair where you usually find her. I remember that. So. You can't go- wait. Wait, 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 Look! Look! Chest! I found a secret and you give me 20 bits? Really, game? This game has no manners. This is the game! Urgh. Well, 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 well. Game really is out to get me again. Huh? A lot of this stuff wasn't here before. Or am I going crazy? I must be going crazy. 
Oh, we're back to the limited inventories. I guess we gotta see Twilight's side of the story. Stairway to the palace. The city of magic. They told us to go here. How does it all begin? Oh, who are you? Hello, have you ever dreamed they can magic that you can use magic that can control time and space? Ah, uh, yes. How can somebody not like controlling something like that? It's not too hard. It takes some time to learn, though. What if I told you I can help you learn it? All you have to do is complete a small trial. Easy, right? So what do you say? Do you want to learn some magic? I warn you can only... What? Um... I guess. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You know what? The way this usually worked is that you have to, um... Um, teach it to the right ponies, and we haven't seen the other ponies just yet. So let's actually go in here. Wait, you can't even go in here? Huh? I guess we're just gonna go in here then and do this with Twily. Yeah, let's just give this to Twily and see what happens. Because Twily has fire magic, but nothing like utility-wise. Okay. Time or space? I mean, having more time is a good way to get things done, and efficiency is magic. Now, face your trial by entering the shrine. Alrighty. Wait, they didn't even ask us for which pony it was, so it's obviously for Twily. Oh. Huh? What are we supposed to do in there? Chrono. Ah, cheerful music! And we're gonna have to deal with the seance circle. The last time we did that, we got into a bad boss fight. Chrono, time walk. Are we gonna get... Oh, look at this! This looks cool. Can I interact with these? I can't interact with this. Oh. Hey, you can get attacked near. So everything is level one, but so are we. Except this guy at the bottom. Well, we're gonna have to claw our way back to how it was when we started this game, really. And go. Yeah, we can two-shot you. What the? Oh yeah, it's back to being the punching bag of this game. Twily. Uh oh. Can we still run from you? We can. Get me out. Is there is there some way where I can get more experience from this area? Cause Fluttershy is down. We don't even have a, a resting area. Oh boy, new leaf. Have we gotten ourselves into a a jar-sized pickle, haven't we? I'm gonna get some items and I'll make a cut. And there we go, everypony. So I was back in um, Canterlot and got a few consumables, too. So let's see what happens. And I also got, like, I think a couple levels going, just so I'm not level one coming in here. Let's see how we do against stuff now. Yeah, we should be able to beat you. And ruin. And smack. How much gold do I get for beating the likes of these? I mean, there isn't a... Um... In, in Canterlot or in Ponyville, but there is a shop where I can just non-stop buy apples from if I have to. Well then. Nope. Please, Twily. Yeah, perfect. And that is how you get experience from things. Sweet. And quick saving, and on we go. What is this weird place even that... It looks so weird! Looks like a good way to get lost, though. That's oh, more of you guys. Let's fight... Should we... Should, what, if we what if we just run? Yeah, we, I don't have to fight all of you guys. I got a few oatmeals. But I think Twilight's regular attack hurts as it is. Save. What is what is that to the north? Am I having a boss fight right now? 
Fill the sands of time. The path will be revealed when all four are here. Huh? Well then, the sands of time. Where am I gonna find sand? Oh. Preemptive strike, that means we do more damage to these. Ruin and smack. Perfect. Yes, nice, nice damage. And zap, and that should be enough to get rid of one of these. Death! That'll be horrible! On, on a level 5 character... Or, wait, a level 2 enemy knows a way to I immediately kill me. This is fine! Possess? I don't want to be possessed by that thing. So what is it with this trial and the sands of times? Because I was busy trying to navigate this place without getting attacked by everything. Uh, yeah, uh, we need to write that down. Write that down somewhere. Wri write that down. 9.15. I probably should have looked at the other clocks, but nothing happened when I interacted with the first. Alright. So, what about you? Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Very funny. Very funny. It's nine o'clock. Huh? Oh, I get it. Wait, what? Huh? What? What is going on? I am confused in the most literal sense possible. What do you want from me, game? So something happened. Okay, what about you? Huh, this one doesn't even seem to do anything. Nope, it doesn't do anything. Do we go this way? What is that, a new enemy? Phase bomb. Do we even want to fight these? Nope. I'm running. So I hope this is. Yep, that's the way to go. The great clock. Um. So I'm assuming something's gonna happen in here the second we we do some more things with the clocks around here. Bye bye. Don't want to have to deal with you just yet. North. 12 o'clock. Oh boy, this is gonna get confusing before long. I never thought I'd have to play a role-playing game with a notepad, but I am. What is it saying in the center? Uh, 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 uh. It, tick, tock. Oh, another one of these? What time is it? Why, it's 6 o'clock. 6. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, I guess you just gotta keep finding these then. This doesn't seem too complicated. Oh. This does seem like something that isn't very isolated. What is it with these weird looking things? You guys are creepy. And persistent too. Let's fight you just because I wanna see what this does. And zap. Fluttershy doesn't even have a physical skill yet. Well, apparently this thing is a master at dodging. Finally got some hits onto you. Time warp. Youch! Run, please! That's a that's a way to start a new new story is by putting in enemies that have the literal power of beating you in one turn. Even after after getting a couple levels, huh? That's how we're getting greeted into this? Well then. Please, no more of those guys. Those guys are annoying. Yeah, I can fight you, but I don't want to. Sands of Time 12. Oh. Wait, there's a sand thingy over there. I think the game wanted us to find these. Oh, this is gonna take ages. Well, I guess it is called a trial of time and all that. Pre-empty strike in this case, I could just 
miss everything. But seriously, why is everything so strong? Uh, I'm level six, and I have have it set to level fifty to fifty percent. Why is stuff like still level five or so? Seems like a bad deal, you know. Wait, what is that in the top left corner? Look, there's a trademark symbol. Look, I see that. I see that game. Um, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, this is the most co- uh, I, I am not even gonna think about bothering if you guys get away from me. Whew. What could be at the end of this? Is it gonna be that little sand thingy we found? I hope it is. Because this has been taking a hot moment. All of that for a little bit of sand. But I guess the sand is for time magic and time magic is cool. Eh, 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 eh. We're gonna run in endless loops through time and space. This way? Nope. Maybe. You sure that's enough of you guys? Let me. I haven't saved in a while. Let me actually save in case I get absolutely ravaged by things out here. Perfect. And this leads to this. Sands of time. Sands of time. What the? I'm timed on this? Please tell me that timer. The timer runs through the fights. Cloak Mist would have been a good good investment. Alright, every pony, but I think we're definitely out of time for today. So with that, I thank all you lovely ponies so much for watching, and now we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And remember, every pony, fighting random ghosts is probably a bad idea because they want their candy. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you will be notified whenever there's a new video and there's new stuff here every single day, including a pony who's going to have to figure out what this Times of Sands actually mean because I'm going to embarrass myself otherwise. <laughs>